Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a fun toilet paper roll style cake, perfect for wiping away 2020. I have a five inch cake that's already been stacked and crumb coated. You can create a final layer of frosting in ganache. And if you'd like to see the building of this kind of cake, I will link it in the eye icon up top and in the description box below. Smooth out the sides and then bring the lip of frosting to the middle. Dark chocolate ganache is the best medium to use under fondant. It's nice and solid, dries nice and hard, and it's super duper tasty. I popped mine into the freezer for 10 minutes, but you could also refrigerate it for 20. Take some fondant and I've used some cornstarch just to make sure it doesn't stick to my countertop. And then rolling it out, <clears throat> excuse me, to about three or so millimeters in thickness. You can rub a little bit of vegetable shortening all over your now set ganache cake or a little bit of water just to dampen it ever so slightly. Drape your fondant over the top, press out any air that's trapped and then seal in that very top sharp edge. Undo the pleats and then gently massage the fondant onto your cake. The help of the water or the vegetable shortening really helps this process. Your fondant will stick really nicely Although vegetable shortening is a lot more forgiving. As you undo the pleats, it will allow the fondant to come off as it needs to, whereas water can make it super duper tacky and you could potentially end up with a ripped fondant if you work on it for too long. Take a fondant smoother and then just bounce it at the very base to make sure the fondant has touched the base of the cake. Cut off the excess and then if you end up cutting too much as I did, no stresso, you can just take that scraper, sorry, the um, fondant smoother and then bounce it again. That's going to stretch the fondant out to the very base of your cake board. Use two fondant smoothers to smooth out the top and the sides and to also create a nice sharp edge. If you have any little bubbles that have popped up, pin, um, prick them with a the little pin and then press out the air. For the panel that goes along the side of the cake, so I'll lastly of toilet paper i've rolled out some fondant again and i'm cutting down a rectangular panel that is as tall as the cake maybe a little bit taller always best to have it a little bit taller than to find yourself having it too short because you'll have to remake it roll it up and then stick it to your fondant cake with a little bit of water i'm just sticking the end of the panel and gently unraveling it if it's too short you can just keep cutting out more panels as you go being taller than the cake, I did have to take a sharp paring knife and just kind of cutting away that excess. Bonus, you create a very nice sharp edge by doing that anyway. For the very end of the panel, I've decided to unravel the top corner and then stick it to itself. If you were to leave it as it is, it could continue to kind of droop and take off even more fondant than you necessarily wanted. Cut off the excess and then take a stitching wheel. This is a little fondant tool and I'm using the edge of my scraper to make sure it runs up straight up the cake. For the indents at the top, I've just used different sized cookie cutters to really show that sort of um, toilet roll impression. If you don't have the cookie cutters though, you can just use the sharp paring knife. Hold your hand steady and use a turntable to help create that nice circle. I decided to take out the middle section so I could feed through some brown fondant that's hollow in the middle and then feeding a little black circle through that as well to kind of create a shadow effect. To make the toilet paper roll come alive I've used some embossing tools by Sweet Step just to create a little pattern. You could technically use an embossing wheel so like uh, sorry, um, embossed rolling pin and you emboss the panel of fondant before you roll it up and apply it to your cake, that'll leave a perfect imprint all the way around as well. And that's it. The toilet paper roll cake is complete. Now we can all wipe away 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you tried this out. If you do, hashtag Rosie's dessert spot so I can see your awesome creation as well. Have a fantastic new year and we'll catch you again in 2021.